He'll watch a movie, then he'll tell you all about it. It's the Armstrong Entertainment Show. Hello everyone and welcome to Armstrong Entertainment. This is Chad here and I saw the movie Arrival. Now this is not called The Arrival, that is a 1996 movie starring Charlie Sheen, which is equally as amazing. But this movie stars Amy Adams, Forrest Whitaker, Jeremy Renner. Amy Adams plays a single mother who is a linguist, and she is approached by the military to help them when aliens arrive in Montana of all states. Aliens arrive in Montana. Pretty crazy. Now this movie opens up very, like on a very somber note, it's like very depressing, like right out of the gate. You're like, oh, oh that kind of sucks. But uh, it, it gets moving along and they got right into the aliens a lot quicker than I was thinking they would. It kind of reminded me of that movie Contact where with Jodie Foster and Matthew McConaughey like in 1997. And they just had like this whole build up and then there was like very little alien action. That's all I wanted to see though was the aliens. I just wanted to see what they looked like. I wanted to see what was inside the ship. And I wanted to know what happened and why they were here. I was totally invested in this film. They did such a good job with like, I was getting really, really, really excited when they would go in the ship and I was like, oh my god, they're gonna see the aliens. Oh no, what's gonna happen? And then all of a sudden it would just cut back to like the tents outside of the alien space craft area. I'm like, oh shit, I gotta wait longer now for more aliens. And then all of a sudden they would go back in the thing and aliens would be there and like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? And then they would cut away and they would go back to the tents. It was just like a very up and down and I was getting so excited and then not so excited. And they did a really good job with that and I, I was literally on the edge of my seat and I was just like, just tell me what happens. I slowly started to figure out, I mean, not everything because this movie is one of those films that you're just not gonna figure out on your own because some weird stuff happens, but I, I kind of saw where they were going with it. I kind of figured out a few things, which was awesome. I, I, I feel like I'm so proud of myself, pat myself on the back there when I figured something out. And I felt like they almost over-explained some stuff because I figured if I understand what's going on, I'm pretty stupid. Pretty much everyone else also knows what's going on, right? So this movie, when the big secret, the reveal, the revelation is, is told to the audience, I'm like, oh, okay, I, I guess I see that. But then if you start thinking about it, you're like, wait, but then what about this? Or what about that? It's like, don't think about the reveal too much, because as soon as it's explained, you're just going to have to accept it and move along. Just don't think about it. Just keep going. Uh, there's some things in this movie that I thought were kind of annoying, but uh, overall, Amy Adams, I love her. She's great. Jeremy Renner's great. Forrest Whitaker's great. Uh, there's not like a weak link in this movie. It's probably going to get nominated for some stuff, I would think. It's a great film. Definitely in my top ten this year. Probably towards the bottom half. But uh, I, I definitely enjoyed it. I love the aliens. I guess my only suggestion would be to make it 20 minutes shorter and I would have given it like an A+. Instead, it is just getting an A from me. It's called Arrival, not The Arrival, and it is playing in a theater near you. Until next time. He'll watch a movie then he'll tell you all about it. It's the Armstrong Entertainment Show.